moving into the Yale combination locks, which uh, go back to about 1855, 1857. And there are many interesting uh, quality pieces to exemplify the excellent work done by Yale through the years of manufacture. There are locks of this particular type featuring two complete combination locks within a single case, which made it ex extremely difficult to uh, manipulate or force open or bypass the lock design itself. Uh, Yale featured uh, many uh, styles of locks. Ma uh, a good number of them were hand-changed wheels as was used in this particular lock. Uh, the hand-changed wheels numbered generally four to a combination lock set. In this case, there were four wheels on the upper lock and four on the lock. Uh, while this one had a direct drive, uh, it, there were others that featured indirect drive and also featured, featured push and pull dials on either the top or the bottom or both. Um, this particular design, both locks had to be unlocked to retract the bolts. And in this case, there are two bolts. And on um, the ends of the bolts were the dates of the patents, uh, which protected the, the lock design, uh, dating from about 1855 to 1863. To remove the wheel curves, there, a key lock was necessary. And this features a key lock on the top of the lock, and it also features a key which locked the wheel curve on the lower side of the lock. The case itself was made of sandcast bronze, uh, just a beautiful piece, and these medallions depict the period of manufacture. Uh, as desired by Yale themselves. 